What's up, YouTube? It's Adrian here from MMO's World. Welcome back. This is a first impressions video. We haven't done one of these in quite some time, so it's nice to be back taking another first impressions look, and this time it's for Terra. This is a free-to-play action MMORPG released by Enmass Entertainment sometime back in 2012, and it didn't always used to be free-to-play. It went free-to-play, I believe, two years ago. Uh, but the game is still going strong, still putting out content, and there's even a new class that was just released maybe a, a month ago called the Valkyrie. So let's go ahead, spend about 15, 20, 30 minutes in the opening sections of the game, checking it out, see if it's fun to play as a free-to-play title, and if it's going to be worth putting more time and money, possibly, into this game. So here we are in the login screen, server selection, there are 5 servers right now, 3 PvE, 2 PvP, a lot of them population is high, which is pretty good for an MMO. You always want to see a high population, no queues in any of them. I'm going to go for a PvP server, and it says recommended as well, so let's just go uh, enter that server and check out the character creation. Ooh, a bit of a lag there, but here we are. This looks like the opening cutscene or cinematic. Nope. There was an opening cutscene earlier on, um, you know, giving you a premise of what the game is like or a little story in terms of the classes and stuff like that. So as you can see, no characters here, uh, but there is an option on the right to create your Valkyrie, create your new character, that's the new class right there. Ooh, took a while to load the character creation screen, but here we are. Let's see here. The races are on the left side, so you've got the humans, who look pretty, uh, well, human-y, I guess. For some reason, I can't click on males, but I've got females here. Uh, yeah, graphics, um, you can tell it's from 2012. I mean, it's not going to, uh, at least from what I'm looking at right now, it's not really going to hold up to the latest MMORPGs with the next-gen graphics. But it's still pretty flashy, still pretty decent. Just going through all the classes here. Is the Valkyrie here? No, the Valkyrie's not here. No, these are races. That's the Valkyrie right here. Interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, so if we go back to humans, now I can click on the male characters. That was weird. I could not click on the male characters earlier. Okay, so we've got humans, and all classes seems to be available to humans. Then we've got the Castanic. Which, uh, kind of like a horned type class. Uh, I suppose you can play all the other classes as well. Let's see if there are any races that have restrictions on classes. That's the Amon. This is the High Elf. This is the Poor Prairie. Damn pandas. Uh, then we've got the Elin. And finally, the Baraka. Rock like creatures. As usual, I'm gonna be boring and play a human. Let's go for a human female. And we are going to be checking out some of the classes on the right here. Warrior, Lancer, Slayer, what else? Berserker, Sorcerer, Archer, Priest, Mystic. Uh, not sure what that is. Only Elins can play this class? What class is this? A Reaper. Copy that. Uh, and then, okay, so there are some race uh, locked classes here. The Reaper and the Gunners are a couple of examples. And this one as well, what is this? This are ninjas. So let's go ahead and check out the new Valkyrie class. Oh no, only Castanic females can be Valkyries. Fine, let's go play a Castanic then. So Castanic females can play Valkyries. Well, well, well. I guess I'll just have to you know, do that. So over here you can see the complexity of the class. It's somewhat full, uh, halfway full, I, I suppose. Then you've got offense, full. Uh, to signify that this is a primarily offense DPS class. You've got some support in there as well. I wonder what that would be. Maybe some CC or lots of AoE. As MMOs tend to classify their uh, support classes. So let's go ahead and check out the customization for the Valkyrie. The Katanic class. So here we go. This is Terra's character creation system. Pretty robust and flexible. You can move your character around. No need for you know, scrolling. Scrolling is to zoom in, just drag around and move. So there are presets. That's the first tab up there. So you can just pick from a couple of defined presets if you wanted to. Uh, or you can click on a preset and then individually customize any 
of the existing features, like color or whatever. I kind of like the preset for this one, actually. Looks really good, I suppose. Uh, you can do fine details as well on all the facial structures. Mouth, nose, eyes, bone structure. Yeah, that's all fine and good. As for outfit, I can check out gear as well, I suppose. This is just a preview, so I'm not sure if we'll be actually getting any of this gear. I'll be surprised if, you know, some of these look nice looking ones still let you pick uh, as a starter. Anyway, I'm just gonna try my luck. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now we can get to pick some voice as well. Nope. Let's go with that one. Uh, let's go ahead and call her MMO Swirl. And complete the process. Alrighty, here we are in game. Finally, you are greeted with a welcome to Terra screen. And what is this? Welcome to Terra Valkyrie using her intri intricately carved rune glaive Valkyrie brands rune marks into enemies. Awesome. So they give you a bit of a tutorial here about your brand new class and also an elite status. Uh, it may be a free-to-play game, but you can. Uh, you know, pay a subscription and become an elite status player that's going to give you a whole bunch of benefits and stuff. And of course, uh, being a free-to-play game, you do expect all these, uh, you know, free-to-play goodies. Like, I log in on this day of the week, and I will get a Spellbind XI. What is this? Tier 11 equipment. I can just claim that. So log in, in you know, tomorrow, whatever, you get to claim cool rewards. So that's, that's nice if you, you know, like your freebies. And who doesn't like freebies, right? So anyway, the tutorial here, they've got basics, A, W, A, S, D to move. Um, so if you ever play games like Revelation Online, which I'm sure is a huge inspiration for, uh, you know, true, well, I should say it drew huge inspiration from games like Terra, you will be completely familiar with this. Again, this is not a new MMO. This has been around for a long time. So its combat system is actually pretty revolutionary and has been an inspiration to a lot of action MMOs, especially Asian action MMOs. So I am just using my uh, right mouse to turn my character and WASD basically is just to move and then you use your right mouse uh, to look around and ooh, some of these graphics. You know, even though the game is old, I actually find it pretty decent. Again, having just done uh, first impressions for Revelation o Online only a month or so ago, I can totally see the influence Terra has on that game. I mean, this this is the original, y'all. Ooh, somebody, somebody has given me a deal here. So, let's go ahead and deal. So we've got a deal going on. Let's find out if we can best this person in duel. We are both Valkyries. Oh dear, I got knocked on my ass there. So left mouse click is to do your basic attack. And then you've got your uh, number one skill as well, but you can obviously dodge out of the way. So that's how combat works over there. But you have to aim, that's what I'm getting the feeling, is that you have to aim. And if you don't aim, uh, you're gonna be in trouble. So, <laughs> my first introduction to Terra is frigging a, a duel with another player called Nile. So I just evaded that person over there. So that's gonna be quite interesting. So lots of uh, moving around, lots of aiming. Uh, we got a point of slasher, and I am gonna win the duel. Yep, I have won the duel against this person. I'm gonna go and let's go ahead and click a quest here and see what's up. Uh, okay, press F to interact. Okay, so NPCs do have voice. It's such a lovely place, the island. There's no doubt that this place is touched by the gods of mercy. No wonder that the children born have uh, been developed uh, the site. So you can click F again to continue, and ooh, some cinematics here. Kind of like the way. You were confused, child. Kind of like the way he zooms in there. Okay, so help by gathering. Okay, let's do it. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a fetch quest or anything. Can you gather some for me from that root over there? Soros tree bark. Um, rewards are money and experience points. I'm gonna go ahead and press that F there to accept. Uh, approach the root of the tiara and the sorrow tree and collect. 
McStuffy, McStuff. So, okay, there it is. Shiny, shiny there. It's right there. So, ooh, it glows in this grid, futuristic grid looking thing. So I'm just gonna hit F here. It's gonna collect any fetch quests and objectives. So that's gonna be the key that you're gonna need. It's F, that's your interaction key. As for the map itself, the top right's the radar, but it's not exactly helpful at all. It doesn't show any damn thing. But it does show NPCs, which has this sign over there. So at least you know that's what you're gonna look for. So let's deliver it to this guy over here. Grab our reward. For the Federation. Okay, ooh. Achievement. I'm just racking up achievements here. To soothe the crying child. Let's pick up the quest. Uh, so Anya sounds upset. I guess she got hurt or something. So let's go ahead and find out what's wrong with her. Keep hovering over here and all I'm getting is... What's this? Is that the map? Oh, probably. Oh yeah, that is the map. Damn. Oh, I see. It's over here. It's sort of like half transparent or something. How do I get rid of that? Use once or slash. Okay. And use slash four consecutive times to refresh. Oh, I see. So that. I kind of like how they give you combat tips on the fly. That's really helpful. Okay. So I'm just going to hit alt right now. And alt will bring up your cursor. So I've got some couple of stuff over here. Some help stuff. Yeah, okay, don't need to really know that. Except it really wants me to know that before it gets away. Uh, what's this? No PvP allowed here. What's this? High. Tangle point. Uh, what else is up here? Guild. Oh, interesting. Guilds on server. Uh, oh, nice. So this MMO tells you all the guilds on this server in case you want to join one. So if you want to join one, just click on it and click apply. Uh, then I guess they will. the guild will decide if you are worthy. Oh, I got, I got an invite to Stray Sheep Bar. Playstyle PvE, no PvP, that's kind of sad. And casual laid back, okay, I'm not gonna prove that real at all, unfortunately. Uh, we got mail as well, and ooh, login reward, so that's gonna come through the mail. Every time you log in, just make sure to check your mail. Hit Alt again, and that's gonna bring back the action cursor. Okay, I'm gonna talk with Anya, the little child we're supposed to talk to. Let's find out what's wrong with her. And she can't, she can't find somebody. Hmm. I feel better now. You feel better now, Joe? Okay. So I'm gonna have to ask somebody about someone's doll. Which is this little thing here. What are you? Grown ups. They oh. never learn. Okay, I really need to move this damn minimap. This is an annoying feature. I really hate just moving my mouse here and having this show all the time. I'm sure you could go into the options and turn that off. Okay, let's click F here. Click F again. So search the bushes for Anya's doll. Okay, I have a flying little pixie with me, well, no longer. So let's search the bushes here. I got the doll, woohoo. <laughs> Items acquired, and now I'm gonna look for Zozo. <laughs> Jeez, Zozo is the name of a demon. <laughs> Whoa, look at that! All the sticky grass has, has nameplates. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? Oh, I just clicked double jump. Didn't get any double jump. There's a kind of monster over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack this one. Oh, one hit kill, y'all. That thing just died pretty quick. Anyway, just checking out some other controls here. If you hit C, C does nothing. Let's click H. H brings up help. Uh, I, I is your bags here, and I suppose if you wanted to open up your inventory, uh, I'm not sure how do you do that. Clicking escape here, that's inventory, profile. Ah, there we go. So we've got profile here. Ooh, lots of things you can equip. Uh, you can have different uh, item sets as well, so that's kind of handy if you wanted to switch them to change gear for PvP or PvE or whatever. Uh, we've got an outfitting panel as well. I love seeing this in MMOs. So you got a body slot, you got a back slot, you got a weapon skins. So you can have weapon cosmetics, which I absolutely love. Reputation, pretty sure that's for factions and everything else later on. Okay, let's move this along. Let's give this I wish I had gear like to yours. the child. Okay, we're gonna need some sticky grass. So I guess that's what this is for. 
So let's go ahead and gather some sticky grass. I mean, uh, for an MMO released in 2012, you don't expect it to have very modern uh, concepts when it comes to opening quests and stuff. So don't expect to be jumping out and doing all the fun stuff straight away. There's going to be a lot of these fetch quests, I predict. Okay, press I to open the uh, window, uh, inventory window, and right-click the needle. Is that it? That is it. And I've just combined the items. And this is probably going to soothe the child, so let's go ahead and patch, uh, patch Zozo. sewn back the toy and now the quest is complete and I'm gonna have to play <laughs> I'm gonna have to play with this doll oh you're kidding me all right let's play with Anya's doll <laughs> here child let's play uh oh screen's going dark oh time flies <laughs> as you play with Anya that is a classic storytelling uh, maneuver to move to time along alrighty so some time has passed this looks like an instance of some sort because there are no other players here just myself I predict an attack is gonna come soon and it's gonna be the combat tutorial looking for me let's go ahead and pass all this stuff so she is running away Oop. audio just went away there What's up, gifted child? Where are you going, Anya? Oh, hello. To protect the sorrow tree. It got dark. I don't think TR feels good. I'm scared. Looking for me? Uh oh. Yeah, there's definitely an attack incoming. Stop them. Okay, got. So re leaping slash generates a rune muck on your target. Copy that. Do you want to play? See you. Uh, rune marks can be used to deal great damage by using rune burst. I see. So that's a combo. So that's one here, and then followed by rune burst. So that's C. I see. Can I drag that in mid number two? That'll be so much more easier. Okay. So now I have to kill agitated uh, gillydews. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click number one here. That did not. Well, that wasn't close enough. But of course not. Slash, then I'm gonna hit number two. Oh, so that's the combo. That is an interesting mechanic here. I really like this combat uh, mechanic. So we've got go on the floor. Uh, you gotta press F to loot your stuff, anything that comes to the ground. Let's go ahead and kill some more. Three, uh, leaping slash, and follow up by number two, which is combo now. Do another reaping slash on this target. Uh, in the combat, uh, many more options. You can probably do a combat lock as well, so to keep your cursor locked on the uh, opponent that you are fighting, which is going to be absolutely uh, helpful, especially for PvP. Let's go ahead and pick up everything on the ground here. Okie dokie, let's go talk to somebody. Okay, these guys are agitated, so you get too close to your enemy. They are going to look at you funny. All right, Emon, guard captain, what do you got for me? Make it snappy. Okay, reward complete. Is this Great. Worth my time? Boom! I believe that is a level up. There's too much panels popping up at your face when you, you know, when you when you do stuff here. So we got learn skills. We got a new skill, uh, wind slash, available to learn level two. So you just click on the skill. And you gotta pay to learn new skills, but that's fine. I'm guessing money's not gonna be a problem here. So that's gone onto my bar. Resets uh, the cooldown of Leaping Sash. So you can see how the Valkyrie operates now. Lots of moves, lots of combos, and skills do reset the cooldown of one another as well. So that's gonna be interesting. Okay, next quest. Defeat Varkas, the Prime Gilladu. Let's find Garkus. There he is. I'm just gonna zoom out here and let's take this bad boy down. I'm too far away, I guess I gotta go near him. Reaping Sash. Gonna do my second attack. Getting out of the way as well. Another Reaping Sash. And he should be dead. 
should be dead. Yep, there he is. Ooh, again, too many things flying at your screen at once. It's hard to tell. Uh, I think I missed a story there as well. Uh, hard to see what just happened. But I am supposed to go to the Shaved Tree now. Which is over here. Now, if you look at the right side of the minimap, you can see the number one there. So that's where you, that's how you're gonna follow your objectives. And the radar at the top is just to show you any uh, PY, which is a point of interest, whether it's a questing NPC or something. Approach the stinking mud and press F to investigate. Where be thy stinking mud? It's not on my radar yet. Oh, there it is up there. What does the stinking mud have? Not much. I suppose you just have to collect them. Alrighty, and up to Eamon, who should be ahead of me now. There he is, Eamon, Captain of the Guard. What's up, Eamon? Hey, what? Anya could stop talking about you. Yeah, because that's. I saved her and I saved her doll. So the rest of the trees, the guards will finish him off. I'm gonna get Orkan, which is a cool looking sword. Uh, increases my attack modifier, my impact modifier. Uh, increases MP replenishment as well. And has two crystal sockets, which I am kind of curious about. Probably just some gear modifiers. Socketed gear. Something important. And there we have it, as a reward for completing, this is what I mean, there's lots of information going across your screen when something like that happens. Uh, I think they could reduce the clutter in the UI, if you ask for my opinion. So in the name of science, I should go up and see her, okay, I should go talk to a Glenock. Anyway, I'm just going to open my inventory right here and equip my brand new sword. Wait a minute. Yeah, I am using the brand new sword, Orkin. In terms of presentations, I mean that looks just that looks gorgeous, that tree over there, and you know the background music is kind of decent. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it suits the fantasy theme, very Asian theme to it. I mean, from the design of the character models, but dialogue and everything is in English. Doesn't seem to have any translation issues. But then again, this game has been around for. What is it? Five years now. It's almost as long as Guild Wars 2. Not a lot going on in the early levels here. Oh, the tree is growing. Nice. I have a gifted child over here and another gifted child over here. This Anya, for me? who we saved earlier. I'm gonna have to follow her now. Do you want to play? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, come with me. I know where the sap is. Okay, I'll follow Looking you. Looking for me? Yay for new friends! Okay, this might be a little bugged, I think. The child is not moving. Okay, objective on the right says follow Anya to the storehouse. I she's right here, so if I click on her again. Do you want to play? I'm glad you're here. Come stand by me. So I click that. Come with me, I know where the sap is. Okay, I'll follow you. And, oh, finally she starts moving. So that was a little bug there. She did not move for two tries. Quest did not um, progress there. Uh, could be a one-off, I don't know. In case any of you have these experiences. That's what first impression videos are for. Uh, so far, combat is really exciting me. I kind of like uh, the action style combat here. I can see if I plug in my controller now, I'm going to have a good, good time. I'm going to love the action controls on a Xbox controller. As for the Valkyrie class, it is the brand new class. It's going to take some time getting used to it, but I really kind of like the idea. You know, you put a rune on it and you keep refreshing it. You use combos. Fairly good, decent DPS class. Looking for me? See you! Okay, yes. What am I doing here again? Collect sap from the sap jar. Where is oh, thy sap hello. jar? Oh, there it is. Damn it, it's right in front of me. God damn. Uh oh. I may have done something wrong. I guess somebody really didn't want me to take the sap, huh? Oh, cutscene. 
Not a cutscene, it was just a port outside. But this looks like another instance. Do you wanna play? I'm scared. What's what's the rumbling? Do you think it's the monsters? I dreamed about monsters. There should not be monsters. So, oh! Hello! Let's go ahead and say I'll protect you. And we'll have a ooh, we'll get a family cuirass, which is I guess this better shirt. Uh, okay, I'll click accept. And oh, we have enemies here. I'm just gonna start attacking these guys. Ooh, that was my AOE skill. Everybody got knocked down. I'm gonna hit a new sash here. And another one of my AOE skills. And I have leveled up. Look at this. I mean, this is great. I'm sure the combat speed will get a lot faster on because you, you get better gear and whatever. Uh, so for now, I mean, I'm just happy with how the combat's going on so far. I'm just gonna click K here and see if I can get any new skills. Yep, the newest skill is Blood Flower. Stab a target repeatedly, applying bleed. Uh, targets with stacks, uh, six stacks of bleed are stunned for four seconds. It is basically a dot. Uh, you can put lots of dot in them, and it's even a stun mechanic if you put enough dots in them. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so that's my fourth skill, which I will use. Now, lead Anya outside of the storehouse. Okay, follow me, Anya. Let's get out of here. Uh oh, we have more Argon foot soldiers here. Take them on. I'm gonna apply my fleet now. That is a sick move, yo. That is awesome. No idea what these creatures are. But oh well. Problem with uh, MMOs like this that I have, even though you know the game is fun or whatever. Oh, hang on, I'm holding that thought because I've got an, a little strong box. Now I wonder if that is the uh, lock box where you gotta get a key from the in-game store or whatever and <laughs> unlock it to get cosmetics or items inside. Who knows? Yeah, as I was saying, you know, the combat is the biggest fun factor for me right now. I kind of like it. And I really wish I had my controller room to plug it in and check it out with a controller. Uh, but from a, a PvE standpoint, a story standpoint, it's kind of a hard sell at the moment. Don't exactly know why this is happening or what those things are. You're right, I wouldn't make it, but I can't keep Anya safe, even if it cost me my life. So I know Anya is a gifted child, so we're going to have to protect her. Okay, killing four Argon sentries. No, two sentries, two strikers. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sentry first. Uh, hit spacebar for wind slash. Just hit. Uh, hit spacebar for blood flower. So the spacebar, whenever that pops up, the game is giving you an auto hint or some auto help on which skills to use, um, you know, to help you out in terms of what to use. And right there, keep pressing the spacebar, and it's gonna help you a lot. So I can generate up to seven room marks if I wanted to. Uh, okay. Punishment right there. It's a move here. Ooh, what's this? Argon Striker. Bring it on. I am not afraid of you. Okay, so space bar. And space bar again. And he's dead. So interesting mechanic there, how the game kind of helps you figure out your combos. Which is kind of nice to have. That's okay, done. Let's go ahead and talk to Eamon here. Ooh, they're all fallen dead. All the creatures are dying one by one. What's up, Eamon? Argon's here. How could this happen? So it sounds like a mortal enemy of the... Uh, for the humans, I suppose. Uh, I think it's all of them. We need to check on everyone. Make sure they are safe. There are probably a lot of injured people. Maybe some are still trapped in buildings. Wait, did you see Yaka? Did he find you and Anya? Uh, okay. Children are the priority, understood? So, there is uh, a lot of emphasis on protecting the gifted children. We will find out why, I'm sure, moving forward. But as for right now, 
I believe this is still in the tutorial phase of the game. It's got a pretty long tutorial. And, you know, games of similar nature are... Oh my goodness, what? Oh dear, holy crap. What am I looking at? That is a big, big bugger. Let's start a combo going. Oh, he got out of the way. That's a smart bugger. I got out of the way too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Crush that. So he's got multiple health bars, as you can see in the top right. So he's up to something. I think that is. Boy, I got out of the way pretty quick. Nope, I did not. I have no idea what just happened there. Oh, did I die? Oh my goodness. Oh, who's that? Oh, it looks like this the main antagonist. And I am knocked out. So, this is bringing flashbacks to... What game was it? Revelation Online. Pretty similar. You got knocked out. I wonder if that's the end of the tutorial. Who knows? So here we are. Where are we? We are in the same town, but the destruction has already taken place. Bad guys have come. They've killed, and I'm guessing they've taken the gift of children as well. So let's just go ahead and finish this In quest. I'll build this village, so many happy memories torn down and left to burn. But as long as children are safe, as long as Tyrone still stands, everything will be alright. You survived the encounter. I can't tell you how relieved. I was a very brave thing you did. I did not know the Aragons all left soon after you fell. They did more damage on the way out. They were looking for something or someone. Again, it's the children, isn't it? Uh, nope, it's not. Anya's safe. She stayed in the sore house with her uncle, like you told her to. But some of the other gifted children are unaccounted for. So that's the bad part. I suppose they did get some of the gifted children. Excellent. I'm now level 5. Got more money. Uh, XP here. Let's hit K again and see if there's any new skills. Nope, no new skills for me. See you around. That's the new Kiras I've got. I'm going to put that on. Uh, unfortunately, it did not change anything. I still look like I'm wearing the same clothes, I think. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, time has run out for me. This is where I have to say goodbye. So I'm just going to, you know, just wrap up my thoughts about Terra. The first 10, 20, 30 minutes of Terra. I don't even know how long it's been. Maybe 25 minutes or so. Um, but just from the intro tutorial itself, you can tell that this game is aged somewhat. But the combat system still holds up. I mean, I've not played Terra prior to this. And I can tell you I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, the new class... Uh, Valkyrie, I've got nothing to compare it to because I've never played any of the other classes, but from a new player's perspective, just jumping in, picking up brand new Terra, uh, uh, Terra class, I love that it, the new class is free, it doesn't charge you anything to play uh, the Valkyrie class, but later on in the game there's going to be undoubtedly some paywalls, there are some pay to win concerns, but you know, if you want a casual uh, action MMORPG with a decent story as you can see there, the story does last all the way up, it's got interesting characters at the beginning i don't know how well it will you know prove to be later on but again free to play game you got nothing to worried about uh you know you've got nothing to lose because it's free to play except probably some time <laughs> uh, your time if you know it ends up not being uh your main mmo or whatever but anyway if you want to check out Terra, we've got a referral link to the game uh, in the description box below. If you want to check it out, you know, go ahead and click the link. And you guys will be ha uh, helping our channel, MMOs World, a lot by just clicking that link. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions look at the first half an hour or so of Terra. We have still not gotten out of the uh, introduction, which is interesting. These games, their tutorials can last a long time when you compare that to other MMOs. It just you know, gives you all that you need to know and boom, you're on your way. So anyway guys, hit the like button if you like the content. Subscribe to MMOs World for more uh, MMO Top 5s, which we do regularly on top of uh, first impression videos as well. And our weekly MMO news recaps every Friday. As for news itself, you can head on to our website at MMOsWorld.com. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.